as somebody who's used a Neotech one for three or four years, solid, pretty well my day-to-day -day lid. I was pretty excited about the showy Neotech 2 coming out. Uh, this is purely first impressions. I've just ridden back from work about 20 miles. I just thought I'd take you through what the helmet's like, but I've got to say I am very impressed. So the major thing with the Neotech 2 is it's homologated not just for use as a full face lid, but also to be used open. So you can now legally ride with it fully open. Everybody used to ride with a Neotech once fully open, but uh, it's legal now. This has been done by simply making a slightly tougher latch, but I can tell no difference, certainly when I'm riding. Really good and smooth, really simple to use. Um, changes as well, one really key one. So if we have a look at these neck skirts, you can see there's more to it on this Neotech 2. There's more layering, and that creates a much stiller environment. It really seals well. Now, the Neotech one was never noisy, and bear in mind, flip fronts are usually a little bit noisier than a typical full face lid because you've got these, these uh, breaks in the shell. Uh, but it was never a particularly noisy lid. But this is quieter. Like any lid, you still need to wear earplugs. That still environment could make it mist easier. Now, the Neotech One always had an excellent chin vent. I'd find even in cold weather, uh, when you're riding slowly, neither mist up because they've got a pin lock. And the, the Neotech Two comes with pin lock Evo, which works really well. There's no fogging there, but wearing glasses it is an issue. That chin vent, just pop it open and it'd blow the air over, keep them cool, right down to walking, keep them clear, so right down to walking place. The Neotech 2 does that really well. Without the uh, nose guard fitted here, it tends to blow more up onto the forehead. With the nose guard, it comes onto the glasses. You do find, obviously, as you pick up speed, you need to close it again because uh, it does get cold in this weather, but it's a really powerful vent. You really only want it at low speed. At higher speed, I did find because it's still in environment, if I really pant hard, if I've been working really hard or just breathing very heavily when I'm riding, my glasses just missed up that little bit more than they did on the Neotech one. But uh, the new latch on the visor is brilliant. You can just thumb it open and it just cracks enough to get you a good blast of air there. So in, if you're going at high speeds and you need that more air, that just does it. On the older helmet, couldn't wouldn't really latch open. You tend to have to go to the first stage. It's a bit of a fiddle and it's always too much if you go to the full stage open. Uh, at about 30, 40 mile an hour. So far I've just noticed that just whistles a little bit if it's cracked open. But high speeds it doesn't. So also it's only an issue if you're wearing glasses and it's really cold and you're really panting. The fact that it's there, it's great. So really impressed with that. Obviously good clear visor, good peripheral vision. These are things that are all going to come out in the longer term testing that I'm going to do. We'll, this will get a very thorough, typically bike social review. So we know the chin vent works very well. Top vent is just like the uh, original one. It's maybe slightly harder to use than the other, slightly harder to get a grip, but really top vent I always found I put it in one position and I was happy for a typical ride. Two stages and closed. And just like the original, you can really feel the difference in those stages. So it works very well, getting a lot of air down into your head. In, in hot weather, this is going to be just the same as Neotech 1. Brilliant lid. And of course, in hot weather, if you're touring, if it's really hot, flip it up, you've got an open face. Of course, at high speed, you're going to start to get a little bit of drag with this up. It's, it's not ideal then, as with anything, any flip front of this design. But you tend to put it down like that. Uh, Rear exhaust fan. This is permanently open now. It used to be closable on the Neotech one. I never closed it. I, it, it. You couldn't feel any difference. So there's no no issue with that being different. Certainly a more aggressive profile on this helmet. Very comfy from the off. Great lining. Obviously fully removable. Uh, one other thing to note is I had the intercom system on the Neotech one. It was designed for this helmet. Really good system, uh, came with a remote control that you could put on your bike, but I tended to swap bikes quite frequently so I'd forget the remote, so I put on this center remote control an extra one because otherwise the controls are in here, you have to open the visor to get to it. There's a specific one available for this, it'll be coming out shortly and we'll be doing a full test on Bike Social, and it clips into the helmet, so it'll be a very integrated system, really good to find out others. if it's got the audio quality of the original center based system, should be very good. So, very impressed with this, the Neotech 2. It's a, certainly a worthy successor to what I think was one of the very best flip front or modular helmets. Get the full review on Bike Social, keep in touch with us, and let us know if you've got one, how you get on with it.